Welcome back, friends. Hello. Um, so this is the third part of my second holly ornament. It started with this sketch and then tracing paper and then moved it onto rolled clay. And now, as you can see during the break, I um, mostly finished sculpting here. There are probably little touch-up things I could do. I wanted to let you know that I like to put um, some sort of background texture um, on the on the back layer. Uh, it doesn't matter exactly what it is, and um, it just needs to look look abstract or like a continuation of what you're doing, um, depending on on what sort of effect do you like. Um, I have some where it's almost irrelevant, like this one. There's so much going on that there, I really didn't need a background texture. Um, and here, my black background texture is almost smooth because there's very, very little of it. Um, but I do have others where it's, uh, it, it's, it's a much deeper texture. And for this one, I thought using this tool at a little bit of an angle would give me sort of the impression of more leaves in the background. Um, just mostly so that it'll cover up any um, imperfections, irregularities, that kind of thing. So that it just looks like there's meant to be some sort of vague abstractness going on in the background. Um, so now at this point, you can see in the process of of um, sculpting and also just just uh, based on how I originally rolled it out, um, it overhangs a little bit and that's not necessarily useful to me um, for making the mold. So in order to not waste clay, um, uh, I am going to trim this, but Keeping in mind what I said before, I do want to leave a little bit of negative space at the edges. I'm going to be aware of that. Try not to get too close to the toes down here. Um, just want to go ahead and trim it up a little bit. Um, if this were going to be the finished product or something, of course I'd be much more careful about it. Or maybe even use a cutter. Um, for some projects I have have used um, in particular circular cutters and it's nice if you want to get a uniform size and shape um, but I do find that some of my best sellers are slightly more irregular um, organic shapes but, but sort of asymmetrical shapes um, slightly asymmetrical, slightly irregular. Um, as I've mentioned before, I do think that it um, lends a little to the idea that um, it reminds people that it's handmade. And also, just the themes uh, that I generally choose are ones that don't lend themselves toward um, neat organic shapes. Um, kind of more of a natural flow. So that said, um, now that this is all done and you can see that I've really tried to add depth in these areas, make sure that things look like they overlap, even things where here and here are more or less the same level. I wanted to make sure that it looks like this leaf is going under the other. Um, and then I have this hair coming out over this leaf. And then this leaf also up about here is the same level as here. And I just want to make sure that it gives sort of a dynamic flow to the whole thing by making it look like it curves, they're overlapping. Um, I think that that adds a lot of uh, a sense of depth and something in the neighborhood of realism. Um, for a project like this. Now, I didn't give very much thought to where I will put the hole when 
I turn it into a pendant or uh, an ornament. And so it's possible I might even just choose to do, uh, leave, leave it without a hole and just create a veil to go on the back. Um, in that case, I won't have to worry about it. Otherwise, uh, I don't know, I didn't plan for that. <laughs> So maybe if I make it thick enough, I could put a hole in here and just cut close to the edge there. Otherwise, um, I could perhaps put one right up here if I pulled it right up to the outside. So now, um, because I am working with Sculpey Primo, I and this is about a quarter of an inch, I am going to bake this at 275 Fahrenheit for about half an hour. So I will be back with part four when I show you how to make a mold. I think I will need to condition some more clay. This won't be sufficient for that. Um, but I am going to be using the very same kind of clay to make the mold that I used to sculpt this. So hope to see you then.